Right. Well, James, um, a week being a long time in football, I mean, I know you, you didn't hide your disappointment and frustration last week, but I think this week, definitely a different complexion on the game. Yeah, absolutely. I think the players were brilliant from start to finish. Deserved a victory, deserved a margin of the victory. Um, ticked all the boxes. Been a lot of questions asked this week, and I thought the players were brilliant from start to finish. Yeah, got to be happy with that. Um, I mean, early, early on in the game again, Antel pulls off two fantastic saves. I think the second one was just pure reaction. Um, keeps you in the game, gives you the foothold, and then you, you go further on. Yeah, he did. I mean, everybody's played their part. It wasn't like it was a 4 nothing and Antel had nothing to do. He made saves at an important time at 0-0, but it was very early in the game. Um, I felt that he did he didn't make those saves and how often we've seen the first goal being decisive in this league. Um, and after that we maybe just settled down a wee bit and started to play and started to be a threat in the top half of the pitch. And I thought we were really good. Yeah, a couple of changes made this week. Um, great to see Mark Laird coming back in and you gave Gab Gabby McGill a start as well. Yeah, just a couple of changes. So we're not wholesale, just trying to f find a consistency in the team. And um, I think the two players you mentioned... Not that they deserve special mentions over anybody else, but I think the two of them played very well. Mark's obviously a big player for us, and, and always, always is. And Gabby, loads of energy to play up beside Blair, uh, involved in, in the goals as well, so really good. Yeah, I think you've taken the words right in my mouth, because that was my next question, or, or you know, my point out, the, the energy for McGill was just fantastic for you know the, the 80 or so minutes that he was on the park. Yeah, I thought the whole team played with an enthusiasm like that and an energy like that. We were talking a lot about uh, forward runners and forward movement, uh, not just from the forwards, but from midfield as well. And I thought um, we showed that in abundance from start to finish. Yeah, and the goals, um, first one coming in you know, half an hour. Um, it was a double Henderson combination, I guess, from the from the flick, and then Liam Henderson's goal from an acute angle as well to, to get us off to a great start. It's actually a great flick for Blair, and uh, Liam Henderson deserves a, a lot of credit for that. He's read the flick perfectly, he's timed his run perfectly, and his finish was actually really good. I thought it was, you know, on the, on the face of it, a simple goal, but a, a real good finish for Liam. Yeah, and, and very quickly after that again, um, you know, Gabby takes a brilliant touch and, and lay it off for Josh to, to get us off to a 2 nothing. Yeah, I think Gabby and Blair again involved in that second goal and Josh uh, narrow, obviously getting a goal for midfield, which is which is great for him, but also the team. Um, so a goal for the, a defender, a midfield player and a couple for strikers as well. Yeah, and again, you know, starting the second half, really, you know, I think um, from what you maybe would have thought that Annan might have came out a, a bit, we just kept your game. Yeah, we said that, said that at half time. We wanted to win the second half. And we also wanted to get a clean sheet. But, you know, it's it's a hard league. There's always a team trying to stop that happening and a, a team trying to score at the other end. And I felt we merited winning both halves. Um, I thought Blair again showed his, his uh, prowess in this league um, to get his goals, strikers' goals. Um, tried to keep him on as long as he could to see if he could get his hat trick. It never came about. But um, good to see uh, likes of Callum Crane coming back in as well. So. We managed to get the subs on and, and get people game time. Yeah, going to um, to Blair's brace. I mean, the the Laird cross for for Blair to get his head on it for his first. Um, the third goal of the game was was just something else anyway. You know, it was a great ball for Mark and a great finish. It's maybe that the type of save that Callum made in the first half where Blair's able to to get on the end of it and force the ball into the net. So yeah, it was a it was a an argued goal. I think after winning by such a convincing margin, um, also you you kind of look at the defence as well, and great for them to keep a clean sheet. Yeah, I think they've, they've played most of the games. They've played fairly well, but they're getting punished for mistakes they're making, and they are mistakes. They're not they're not good mistakes, obviously. Um, and we've we've concentrated a lot on this week. We've coached it. We've spoke about it. We've done everything. It's been a long week. Um, a lot of things said, but the players responded today with a great performance. Yeah, well, thanks very much, James. Enjoy your trip back up the road. Cheers. Enjoy thanks. your weekend. Cheers. Thank Cheers. you.